So what I'm saying is that I wonder how seriously the recommendations from the report that, were, that was uh, written by this institute were taken by the people who had a political motive to go against it. Hmm. Sorry, what kind of report are you talking about? I'm talking about the report that Takashi mentioned uh, that prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor, a report was written that oh, okay. already showed that, that Japan would lose the war against the United Power States. Balance report, sure. yes, very famous yeah. one. But that so kind how of. Come it was denied. But, uh, so basically, what I'm arguing is that. It's, it's done all the time. Not every report, uh, not because it's in a report, it's always true, because a, a report can be colored by the political drivers, the people who wrote the report. Um, and also, at the same time, uh, it's also the, the, the application of the results in the report uh, can also be highly uh, questioned and manipulated by the people who receive the report if it doesn't fit into their uh, gut feeling or, or their political motives. But if, if they are considered for the GDP and the size of the country and the many kind of parameters they have, so this is obvious, this report is uh, totally there, reliable or not, but actually right. power balance is... Uh, is but all so, so you are you're right there let's say, let's say that uh, may, maybe the uh, japan has four million soldiers and uh, u.s managed to mobilize uh, maybe eight million soldiers um with uh, superior weapons then uh, we could argue as a counter argument yeah okay maybe we have half of the number of soldiers but our soldiers are prepared to go to the end whereas american soldiers they are not vested as much in their country as we are so our the, the effectiveness of our soldiers is twice as big that means we have the same amount same number of soldiers as effectively the same number of soldiers as as the us i mean these kinds of thinking it doesn't really make sense but you can make it sound logical still it doesn't make sense <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Actually, you're right. It doesn't make sense because it, it really doesn't make sense. The sense that it makes is that people decide usually with their hearts, not with their heads. They right. use their heads to justify what they want to decide with their hearts. Yeah, this is made by hearts is, I think, is dangerous. Sometimes, uh, as the video is saying that Japanese were uh, considered uh, so fanatical. Mm. So we might be so fanatical that we can believe, we can deny any reasonable figure from on, on the report and statistics. Right. Then we can I... just we yeah yeah they're just believing that we are cent center of the world. Uh, we we gonna have to be the center of the world. To give in the world the great peace based on our initiative uh, had, as you said last week Hachi mm. Hachi too, what was it? Yeah. yeah they are fanatically Ichu Hoko Ichu Hachiko Ichu Hachiko Ichu meaning world is one society mm. Uh, Japanese uh, uh, people concept world is w one society so and it was explained in the video as uh, uh, basically everything should be Japanese so Hachiko Ichu means world is one society to coordinate right. each other so right? is it is it saying that it, it will be under Japanese initiative? Japanese that's what that's English. what it that's what they claimed. That's what they claimed in the in the video. That that basically with that the Japanese are trying to expand their influence and dominate the entire world. That's what they said in the video. Oh, so this is the current China. <laughs> <laughs> Not Japan. Then Japan don't want to dominate. Japan want to coordinate 
Okay. So, well, I, I to to be honest with you, I don't think I I think they wanted to expand their influence and want to wanted to emulate the colonialist uh, uh, nations as, as they had done before them. Um, but I don't. I would be surprised if they would seriously uh, consider to actually uh, rule the world. That is. Uh, uh, just like China is not aiming to rule the world, they want to be respected. They want to have their uh, proper place in the world that uh, reflects their uh, contribution in terms of GDP and whatever. Um, and 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 their neighbors should respect them. But I don't think that they have uh, the ambition to build uh, like a fourth uh, empire, uh, like uh, uh, the Germans had. Don't misunderstand uh, mixing uh, military intention and uh, Japanese people or government they saw. Mm. Military they tried to invade all over China and Indochina. But Japanese government people they didn't think like that. So this is unbalancing within the Japanese country itself. Mm. Right? So basically what you're saying is that so what we are actually driving towards our conclusion, if I may summarize, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel that we are going towards a uh, towards a, a uh, agreement where in uh, pre and during war Japan uh, the military just just a moment a, just a moment, moment. I, uh, just a moment just. Oh my God, every month I receive peanuts. <laughs> I don't need any more, but I don't, I, I don't know how to cancel it. Every oh. month peanuts coming. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, Urusan, you, you have been around for more than 70 years this year. Oh, this yeah, way. I'll show you another one. I bought this one. I bought this one. Uh, but my wife told me, oh, this is terrible to eat. <laughs> this is uh you can see this yeah what's it what's it yeah this is bad for her i i bought three packs and also every month peanuts i'm i have another peanut inside my you know <laughs> oh my god okay go ahead the, the, we, let's continue yeah, so, so the, 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 we, we're slowly getting towards the conclusion that what drove the decision making for Japan to invade, go to war, was that basically the military were not under control. They were driving the decision making. The, the individual members were not uh, aligned and they were going their own way. And once overseas, the military drove them uh, in a way that they would uh, uh, basically drive their, their own agenda. Okay, this we need to consider for the several aspects. One is military. They how come they try to expand their territory, their power, uh, the into Asia Pacific, and the other one is uh, how Japanese people thinking about Hachiko Ichi as a Japanese nation. It, mm. We try to organize Asia Pacific. Two aspects they had. Okay, don't mix in both of those. Military, uh, this is, uh, I'm, I'm just a uh, Japanese character. They try to always expanding their territory, their power, their influence all over Asia, try to invade another area, additional area. They always continue expanding their, their both. And uh, this was uh, Navy, Army, the same. But uh, just, uh, it, it's really like a current China. And United States, America, Europe, and uh, not Hitler. But America, Europe countries, they don't do that, you know. They, they every time try to gradually, oh, of course, America expand to take uh, territory in 19th century, right? And reaching to the Philippines and South America, they expand their territory. But uh, 
maybe that, that time, you know, Japan is、uh, colonialism, the latest country, the colonialism, just joined the country. So they tried to expand their territory as colonialism and,、uh, because of the, their military power. Some understanding, but.、Uh, Mm. Uh, how far was Japan off from、uh, being a military dictatorship? How far?、Mm. Sounds like they, they, they controlled, they drove the agenda, and they basically were not check, there were no checks and balances. You mentioned before no, that no, no. there was an equal division of budget、uh, between、uh, the army, the navy.、Uh, That, that sounds to me the only reason why that would happen is because nobody wants to make the decision to give one more than the other.、Um, so there were no checks and balances in, in, that,、uh, in, in, in those days.、So、yeah, exactly. But、uh, yes, this one is also, and I, I believe they just、uh, competitive situation among Navy and Army, not, not,、okay. not America, not outside Japan. They just、right. competitive within, within Japanese country. But normally, like in, in other countries, there, is a, there, there are politicians, there's a president who decides we're going to war.、Um, uh, there's the prime minister in, in、uh, Winston Churchill, who is the prime minister, who is democratically.、Um, yeah, I agree with you. At、uh, that time,、uh, Konoe, Fumimaro Konoe was prime minister, very similar to Abe. He does not have,、uh, he cannot control all the government or all military. Right. So he just,、uh, right. uh, you know, compromised all the way around. So that、mm. result is military, military, or some,、uh, you know,、uh, Navy, Army, whatever they like, they try to invade everywhere.、Right. They didn't consider for what kind of result we're coming up for invading India. They, didn't, they don't have any kind of you know,、uh, final goal, right?、Mm-hmm. No, not final goal. Okay, what is the final goal? Do you try to occupy all of the world? No kidding. The kind of approach they did, right? Right? So,、uh, and also they tried to wage war against America. This is a, it doesn't make sense. It's sort of crazy ish decision they did. If you can be successful, then it would be very good for your career, of course. You can,、uh, yeah, that、uh, this kind of you know,、um, crazy dream.、Mm. So, but so, my, my question is always okay, my question is how come they did make that decision? And what is the background? What is the Japanese character or Japanese problem do they have? Uh, the, the, so, it, it, it seems like. There were, there were no checks and balances, like I said before. Like the, there, there was no、uh, leadership, no, no control of、uh, democracy over the、uh, military, so that the military were actually pulling the shots, or nobody was strong enough to actually、uh, stop them in their、uh, private initiatives.、Um, that's one. But then I actually am a little bit like that there were so many soldiers. How would, were they able to, if, if it was really only the military, how were they able to mobilize the soldiers to act and follow the orders that were obviously not, that, that, that then were apparently not、uh, part of the, the Japanese、uh, ideas behind this, uh, this uh, uh, Hachiko、uh, Ichu. If, if that is not, if they were not, if they were really like different, how come that the military actually followed, blindly followed the orders of the military? Oh, Ed, the, Ed, this is Hachiko Ichu, Ichu, this is different from military action. This is Hachiko、okay. Ichu, is a concept of Japanese government or Japanese people considered for the Asia yeah, Pacific. But a lot of people must have seen that actually what happened was not exactly in the spirit of uh, uh, if soldiers going, going to war for Japan must have seen that this is not really a matter of collaboration or coordination. This is,、uh, this is purely uh, a, a, a murder uh, expedition. 
that has very little to do with uh, with collaboration. So how come people just followed it blindly? Okay, it's ordinary really people uh, as a soldier spread all over Asia. Those people consider for Hachiko Ichu. This is true. But that concept is not invasion. This they coordinate with local people. The Japanese soldiers basic concept ordinary people, okay? Not general I'm talking about. Mm. Ordinary soldiers, they try to coordinate with local people. Yeah, but it's, it's this is not, Japanese it's, Japanese it's not the Japanese people who committed that many murders. Oh, wait side. a minute. Hachiko Ichu is Japanese people Japanese educated for many years. Before World II. Yeah, Hundred years. But, uh, the reality is, we, we, we do agree that actually many people were, were murdered, right? Were killed. Uh, no, no, no. What are you talking about murder killed? is war, right? War. This yeah, is the, those, uh, the China is we did war. But Asia Pacific, we did not war. Do the war. We didn't kill the people. Don't misunderstand. Asia Pacific, we didn't wage war. We uh, wage war against British. Uh, Holland and Australia. That's not true. Okay. No, not I'm Asian countries. Okay. No. Sorry. No. I, I. I. really. I need to look at the data because you are misrepresenting uh, history here. Uh, next. Next time I will have the data and and, <laughs> and, and, and and show you how many people have been killed because of the Japanese war. This is not just co collaboration. Come on. <laughs> No, I, I have the data. No, just and next time I will have the data. Yes, yes, there are like a, there just a Filipino did a lot of bad because they deployed by U.S. troops. Yeah, not only Philippines, also Singapore, also in in Myanmar, uh, everywhere. No, 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 not the local okay, people. Okay, well, I will, I will, I will find the data. They didn't wage war with local people. Japanese soldier battle against British in Malay. That's what you think. I yeah. Want the data. Yeah. So this is, I think, your background, my background, completely different. Uh, yeah. Basically, Japanese people, almost all people, they don't know what's happened in Asia for under the World War Two. They didn't get any education for that background. This is what I want to discuss with you. And Hachiko mm -hmm. Ichi is. Uh, I, think, I think if we are, if we are, uh, we should start from the same uh, factual background as much as possible. So let's look at how many people were killed and then have a discussion. Because, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you believe what I, you believe, I believe what I believe, but we both are not really burdened by too much uh, factual information about what mm -hmm. really happened. So that's a li little bit difficult. That's both speculative from both sides. So we need some, we need some statistics. We need to have some common understanding and common background mm. and then discuss what uh, this what, is what very important happened. and uh, uh, Japanese imperial description of education as you know Japanese description of education right you know that uh, whenever I talking about this kind of content and all everybody West Europe European people against my opinion this is based on based upon Hachiko issue any kind of Westerners misunderstand what, what Hachiko issues mean. They always they think of this is imperialism, but this is different. Right? So I need to uh, explain that kind of Japanese history, what they are thinking about. But as you said, okay, military actually physically invaded the Asia Pacific. This is true. And they expand, uh, expanding, uh, spreading war in, in all over China. That, that was terrible. Right? They uh, the waging war against America. That was also terrible, unbelievable. What are they do doing that? But this is kind of terrible. But this is different from ordinary people, not ordinary soldiers. But this is general. It's crazy. Many many crazy generals. They try to get more uh, authorized power. And uh, kind of you know, I don't know. Are they going to get uh, power in? Uh, all the whole Asia, including China, it is very crazy, mm. unbelievable. If they, at that time, they don't have common sense, or they they have some doubt for kind of in the future, in their future, but uh, they followed on the majority of people going the wrong direction. Mm. 